Hello guys, good evening to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest update, this is the weather analysis for today Friday until Monday, August 16 to 19, 2024, and this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the uh, best educational institutions here in Naga City and Bicol region. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagali Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordan. So let's begin with our update. Uh, here's the latest GovSat for today. Until tomorrow, Saturday, we still devoid of any tropical cyclones within the Philippine area of responsibility, and this is something new. Uh, it's already middle or midway of uh, August. We still don't have the letter D of the Pagasa tropical cyclone alphabet. But based on the latest uh, Pagasa report, uh, they are estimating uh, at least 15 could enter par. So most likely, uh, the total of cyclones that we are expecting for this year is somewhere between uh, 10 to 15. Okay, because of the uh, fast uh, onset of La Nina, which is expected to arrive sometime October, and it will last through early next year, first quarter of 2025. So we expect uh, more abundant uh, rainfall will slowly arrive. Although we are experiencing some dry conditions, some uh, warm uh, weather. Uh, similar to that of May and June. And uh, this is the effects of the uh, post El Nino. And since we are now developing into El Nino, although right now we are still on neutral conditions, there's still no uh, tropical cyclone formation within PAR. So we are waiting, or we are awaiting, the formation of Dindo, that will be the next name. If a low pressure area develops into a tropical cyclone, and we are keeping an eye on this single system east of Taiwan, if it does develop within the Philippine area responsibility, this will become Dindo. But if not, we'll wait till uh, September arrive. Okay, so uh, right now we have uh, weak southwesterly winds, producing some uh, visible conditions of extreme northern parts of the zone. And there are some isolated thunderstorms, and we have here affecting uh, Hong Kong, southern China, and to the south of this uh, double LPA. 97W is currently decaying, while uh, 98W is uh, developing. And to the northeast of this two LPA, here is Ampil, which is already uh, a category 3, although it became category 4 early this morning but right now it downgraded into category 3 with winds of 205 kph and it will be uh, sparing uh, Tokyo as it uh, recurves towards the northeast and uh, I'm gonna show to you later the latest satellite animation so right now we are still on the uh, dry phase of the modern Julian oscillation that's why we have a monsoon break bringing some dry conditions across the Philippine Islands with smaller chances of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. So here you go, the latest uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin tropical cyclone page. This is Ampil starting to recurve towards the northeast, sparing Tokyo for the rare heat, but they experience uh, uh, tropical storm force winds at this time. Uh, they are sp uh, still experiencing, and uh, the Philippine Islands, nothing to worry about, just some thunderstorms across northern and central Luzon, isolated ones, and over uh, Visayas and uh, Mindanao. Here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com, focusing on Ampil, as you can see, 
metropolitan Tokyo, this area has been spared from the uh, destructive winds of Ampil as it starts to recurve towards the northeast and that will be the direction right now of Ampil and if we move this uh, uh, satellite animation towards the Philippine Islands you can clearly see here some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms occurring across uh, portions of Luzon that includes uh, Metro Manila, uh, Central and Northern Luzon while here over Visayas, there are also some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms as well as Mindanao, particularly Sambuanga Peninsula. Here in the Bicol region, it looks like we are still continuing to experience some dry conditions. But uh, for the next few days, there might be some isolated rain showers, but not much. Maybe uh, in the last week of August, there might be the return of daily thunderstorms. So we are going to observe that in the coming days. Here is the track of all Asian agencies showing Ampil to record more to the east-northeast away from the Japanese coastal waters. And here is the uh, uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model for the next three days until Monday. Tomorrow afternoon, Saturday, here comes LPA still here. Uh, quasi stationary over the Yama Island chain and on Sunday it will move towards the east most likely becoming an active LPA if it does develop into a tropical depression it will be named locally as Dindo if not it will uh, remain as an LPA or as a tropical depression outside of power if it does develop and uh, Monday afternoon, it will start to move towards the north, west of uh, Okinawa. And it's not that to our country, although there are some light southerly to southwesterly winds occurring over Batanes, Boeing, Kubo Islands, as well as the extreme northern parts of Luzon. Elsewhere, it will remain calm with variable winds, dry conditions, with isolated rain showers, in the afternoon or evening in select selected areas, not the uh, uh, majority of the areas of the Philippine Islands, okay? And uh, uh, so far, that's the uh, forecast for the next three days. And for the rain forecast, tomorrow, Saturday afternoon, there might be isolated thunderstorms of Visayas and Mindanao, portions of northern Luzon. Sunday afternoon, we again uh, expect some isolated thunderstorms across eastern Visayas. Northern and Western Mindanao so far, it's going to be dry all across the country. And on Monday afternoon, there might be increasing chances of thunderstorms in uh, Southern and Central Luzon, portions of Cagayan Valley, Mimaropa, particularly Mindoro and Palawan, uh, Western Visayas, especially uh, Panay Island. Eastern Visayas, as well as parts of Mindanao. Bigal region, there are smaller patches of isolated thunderstorms expected this coming Monday afternoon. Okay, so, uh, so far that's the uh, forecast, but on Monday evening, there might be some thunderstorms across the Bigal region. So that's the good news that we are going to expect so far. Okay, uh, we are reviewing the Saturday evening. Sorry for not mentioning it, but so far Monday evening there might be some thunderstorms across the Bicol region and parts of Visayas. And uh, so far that's the latest for the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days. The total rainfall accumulation forecast shows some isolated thunderstorms across Occidental Mindoro, Visayas, Mindanao, small portions of the Bicol region and uh, northern Luzon. Now, how about the uh, wave forecast for the next three days so far? So good until Monday. We are going to experience some um, uh, calm to light waves across the uh, East Philippine Sea up to a meter and over the central uh, waters of the Philippine Islands, Sibuyan Sea, Sulu Archipelago or Sulu Sea, uh, Bisayan Sea, Boreas uh, I mean Rigai Gulf, which surrounds Boreas Island and uh, Tikal, 
Wave heights will become to only about 0.2 or 0.3 meter. So very light and calm. Over the West Philippine Sea, same situation. Up to a half a meter in wave height. But over the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea and uh, over the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon, the wave heights will increase up to 1.6 meter. Okay, so this will be still light to moderate. And overall, the uh, waves across the uh, Philippine waters will remain uh, good for fishing and sea travel. Now, here's the latest uh, Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center issued last Wednesday. And uh, this is valid for the next two to three weeks. Week 2, valid August 21st to August 27. Hello, Sky. Here's my son. Say hi. Hi. Uh, uh. So that's my son, Sky. So what's the situation for week 2, August 21 to August 27? Uh, the Philippine Islands will still have dry conditions. And below average rainfall of more than 40 or 50 percent but starting to move away and here comes now the uh, above average rainfall affecting uh, Indonesia, Sabah as well as parts of Southeast Asia, India included so this is now the uh, next uh, phase or the wet phase of the modern Julian oscillation which we are talking about in the past few videos so it is expected to reach the Philippines sometime first week of September and if we move into week 3 this is now what we are seeing August 28 to September 3 the uh, wet phase of the modern Julian oscillation has reached the Philippines and we have already more than 20 percent chance of a tropical cyclone formation within the south or the or I mean the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea and the East Philippine Sea. So we better uh, uh, take all the necessary precautions and uh, watch out for the next arrival of above average rainfall or the enhanced rainfall due to due to the arrival of the wet phase of the modern Julian oscillation. Okay and uh, here's the uh, forecast right now. The Philippine Islands, like I said, just uh, which I said during the past few videos, is somewhere here. And look at that. The forecast shows that as we enter September, the uh, wet phase of the modern oscillation is somewhere here. So we expect enhanced rainfall again uh, in our country, either through an LPA. Uh, daily tropical uh, localized thunderstorms as well as the southwest monsoon if uh, it will be enhanced by a tropical cyclone so we should be prepared this coming September and here's also the outgoing long wave radiation analysis as of uh, August 16 right now the Philippine Islands is somewhere here and you can see that we are still under dry conditions or suppressed rainfall based on this color scheme and this uh, uh, blue or dark blue uh, color will proceed towards this direction when we reach uh, September so we expect that uh, situation okay so please take all the precautions and prepare this coming September for another round of rainfall across our country particularly the uh, arrival again of the southwest monsoon if we have back-to-back -back tropical cyclones. So uh, let's be prepared. So there you go. That's the latest for this weekend. I hope that you will be having some great weekend ahead. This is Mike Padua saying uh, a good night to all. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our, our channel. God bless to all.